Hello everyone, welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The City of Ember, Chapter 14, The Way Out. Now, this is a pretty exciting chapter. It's been 14 chapters of waiting to interpret these instructions and finally find the way out of Ember. And we finally do. And it starts with Lena just sitting there thinking. Uh, no one has any messages to share. It's singing day, um, or it's the day before singing day. No, it's singing day, and everyone's practicing their songs. And she really doesn't have much to do. But she starts thinking about the mayor. The mayor in his secret room, eating his peaches, wearing his new clothes with all his light bulbs, and he has all this stuff. But if the generator fails, he's not going to have any light, just like everyone else. If Ember gets destroyed and he's just still there, he's going to be all alone, eating food by himself. Now, what's the point of keeping that? And then she just thinks like, oh, like Looper. He must think that the end is near and he's just trying to enjoy as much of it as he can, which is a pretty sad turn of events. While she's thinking this, Dune runs up to her and he says, I found it. I found it. Found what? The E. The E in the instructions. It's by the river. Come on. You have to come look at it right now. Wait, but aren't the pipeworks locked up? Uh, no. I took the spare key from Lester, the pipe manager. And, uh, you know, we mentioned in the movie, there is a Lester, and we didn't think he was in the book, but he is in the book, but just a, a very small part. So, Dune and Lena head to the pipeworks. They don't put on their pipe clothes, because they're not going to go into the tunnels, just by the river. And they look for this E, and, <gasps> yeah, it's here. And so they try to look at the instructions again, and they see, oh, i got to look for something over the E. And so Dune leans to the edge and looks down. Oh, I see it. I see it. There's a ladder. There's a ladder down there. So Dune and Lena go down the ladder. And Dune asks, um, do you want to go down the ladder first? <laughs> and Lena's like, no, no, no. You go first. And so Dune turns around and puts his feet and tries to find that, oh, 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 oh. And he starts to climb down the ladder next to the river. He gets all the way down, calls back to Lena. Lena does it, and she's pretty scared, but she has Dune at the bottom to help her. And they both get back down. As they get down, they kind of scoot over and they find this uh, kind of entrance a little bit where there's a door. <sighs> The door. They finally found the door. It's locked. They look at the instructions. Oh, okay. It looks like there's a key somewhere. And boom! Oh, a panel opens up. There's a silver key. They put it in the lock and... It doesn't open. Oh, it slides open. They open up the door into this super secret room. This room, though, however, is completely black. They can't see anything. They just, well, okay, maybe there's a light switch. So Dune goes on one wall, Lena goes on the other wall, and they're kind of feeling around, and they can't find anything, and they just keep walking, keep walking, keep feeling. And they think, oh, is this the exit to Ember? A one-mile walk in the darkness? But then, oh, oh, what is this? Lena finds something. Dune tries to turn and walk towards her. Oh, 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 what is this? And they find something in the middle of between them. But then Dune goes over to Lena and finds uh, some boxes. Well, they can't see anything right now. So they're like, well, let's go out, see what we can see what these are. They take these dark green boxes out of the room. And, oh, what is it? There's a kind of door on it they open it up and dune takes out some um some sticks that are a little red or blue on the end and 
Uh, doesn't know what these are for. Lena takes out this long stick uh, that's kind of sticky or hard or feels a little weird and it has this little tip and hmm, what, what are these? Uh, I, I don't know. What are they? Well, Dune takes the stick and he's like, well, uh, Lena thinks maybe it's a pen to color on something. So he tries to write on the instructions. Nothing works. Oh, whoa. what's this white strip here on, on the stick's package? Well, let me try to write. <laughs> Fire comes out and Dune goes, oh! and he drops the match on the ground and he goes, <laughs> and then dies. <gasps> Fire! Lena wants to try. So Lena takes one and lights it. <gasps> wow! She doesn't drop it, but eventually the fire goes down <gasps> and she has to let go. Hmm, what do we do with this fire? Well, they start to experiment and they take one of the, um, which we know, candles and uh, tie one of the matches to the candle. Then they light the match and it just burns up. But then the candle lights. <gasps> movable light oh wow they found it and now they go back into the room they go back into the room and they're reading things and trying to figure out the instructions and they learn that this is a boat with paddles and the way out of ember is to go down the river they have found the exit the way out of ember oh man that's exciting but it's not the end. So what is going to happen next? The next chapter, I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's called Desperate Run. Let's look at some vocabulary here. First word is gorging. And this is like eating more than you need. Eating like crazy, filling up too much um, that it actually hurts. Um, you can think about like when you're really, really hungry and then someone gives you some really delicious food. <gasps> you just go crazy at that food and eat it so much and enjoy it so much. And that's what uh, Lena imagines the mayor doing inside his secret room. Uh, squiggle. <laughs> I'll make a little squiggle here for you. A squiggle is just like a little line that's not, um, not straight, not... Um, clear it just kind of it could be even like a little loop squiggle 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 something like that that is a squiggle and the uh, e that they find looks like a squiggle e it's in like cursive or um i can't remember what kind of writing they call it but that's what the e looks like next word here is ledge and uh if you think about a uh, a cliff here Oh, let me give you, oh, okay, here we go, this way. Um, this side here that falls off, this is the ledge. And so they look over the ledge down the river and they can see the ladder. Rungs, these are the bars, the pieces that you see in a ladder. So they grab onto this metal into the rock and they climb down these rungs, these steps. I think the last one here is rasping. Rasping is kind of a hard or rough kind of sound. Oh, my throat is a little <coughs> raspy. But in this case, the door <coughs> opens with some hard sound. Ah, one more here, I guess. Latch. A latch is like a small door uh, that you kind of <coughs> lift up. So the boxes have these latches. And our discussion question. Have you ever played with fire? Okay, I'm not gonna tell your mom or your dad. You can tell me honestly, or I have some stories for you, but uh, playing with fire, I just think of Lena and Dune with these matches trying to understand how they work. And uh, they weren't playing with fire, but certainly they were experimenting and trying to learn how to use it. Of course, please make your own discussion question. That is all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.